Hi, my name is Sean and today I'm going to attempt to charge my Tesla Model 3 with a portable power station. What is a portable power station? A portable power station is a battery connected to an inverter and they sell them all as one package and this is one that I own. The Jackery Portable Power Station Explorer 500. That's 500 for 500 watts of continuous power. So I thought this might be interesting because I don't own a large power station and I wanted to see how much power I could put into my Tesla just using such a small power station, if it's even possible. Before we begin, there are two things you should know about using a battery to charge your car. First, if you're charging it with pure solar power, that's a plus because that means you can just take your solar power, put it into your power station and charge your car with it. Now the downside is that it is less efficient than just using an extension cord. So if you have an extension cord, you should probably just use that. But if you're stuck about a mile away from a charger without any power, then a portable power station might come in handy. You just use it to add an extra mile just to get you to where you need to go. You might say to yourself, well, can't I just plug in any battery into my car? Well, thing is, is that you gotta make sure that it gets the right amount of voltage, amperage, and total current that your car is trying to pull. Now, the Tesla, in particular needs 110 volts at a minimum of five amps of power. Now that means it needs around 550 watts of power. Multiply your volts times your amps and that should give you the number of watts required. My portable power station that I already own does about 500 watts maximum, so we'll see if that works out. The second problem is that the Tesla needs a hot, neutral, and a ground wire. Most portable power stations only provide a hot and a neutral. Luckily, we have a way to trick it into thinking that it has a ground as well. So I tricked the charger into thinking that it has a hot neutral and a ground. The way I did this was by bridging the neutral wire to the ground wire, and then the charger just thinks it has a ground. This can be kind of dangerous, especially if there's a short circuit in your wire, and it's not recommended. So I'm gonna say, don't try this at home, but let's see what happened to me. I took the portable power station to the basement where I parked my car. I then turned on the portable power station, plugged the adapter I made into the power station, and then plugged the Tesla charger into the adapter and the other end into my car. The Tesla blinked blue for a little bit, and then it blinked green to indicate that it was indeed charging successfully. So I set the Tesla to the lowest amperage that it could take, which is five amps, and watched it charge. And I saw that the Tesla had 200 miles of range. I then went back to the portable power station to see how much power it was drawing. It has a small screen where you can see the amount of watts that it's pulling, and I saw that it was pulling about 490 watts or so, which is just about the maximum power that it can output. Knowing that it was using almost 500 watts per hour, and that the battery is rated at 500 watt hours, I decided to come back in an hour. One hour later, I came back to the car and noticed that the portable power station was dead. I looked at the car's screen and saw that instead of saying 200 miles of range, it now said 201 miles of range, which meant that it added a total of one extra mile to my Tesla Model 3. So folks, there you have it. It added a full extra mile to my car. Now, what would I say if somebody else wants to go ahead and do this? I would say, First of all, if you have a bigger battery, go ahead and use it. 500 watt hours will add roughly a mile and a half of range. If you have a one kilowatt hour battery pack, that'll add about three miles of range. And if you have about a three kilowatt hour battery, that should add about 12 miles of range. So I hope this little experiment helped you out. I hope you get to use these results yourself. Please leave me some comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.